With a lot of ancient cultures, we focus on the kings, the aristocratic elite. But that makes up such a minor percentage of the population. I want to know what I would have been drinking if I went into a pub 1,100 years ago. My name is Travis Rupp. I make really old beer. Travis isn't your everyday brewmaster. He and his team have put a spin on craft beer by taking a look back in time to brew ancient beers. When we produced the ancient Egyptian and ancient Peruvian beer, I made them as close as I possibly could to exactly the way an ancient beer would have been produced, and they turned out quite well. In ancient times, beer was traditionally brewed in clay pots. There was no carbonation, and the beer had a very low alcohol content. While Travis brews his beer using modern equipment, he meticulously adjusts his recipes to include ingredients used thousands of years ago. Turns out, ancient beer is surprisingly delicious. It is often presumed that the beer they drank was very gross or unpalatable because we want to presume they're just dumb and don't know any better. The ancient Egyptian beer, it's one of my favorite beers to drink um, at the end of a, a long day of work. One of the biggest challenges really in doing beer archaeology is really defining these recipes. And brewing ancient beer on a modern system is very, very challenging. Ancient beer has some unusual ingredients, such as baking yeast, juniper berries, and mugwort. It's constantly thinking outside of the box. How do I bring in all of these elements and ingredients, but how do I still mimic the steps? In order to prepare for his next brew, Travis spends three to four months researching ancient civilizations. The beer I'm working on right now is a Viking beer. It was consumed probably at least 1,100 years ago, uh, according to the archaeological record. I think the beer is a, is a really phenomenal lens for viewing history and viewing culture uh, throughout time because it really does seem to unify people from as early as 8500 BCE to the present. The modern consumer, they can come experience what it was that ancient people may have been drinking and then realize that, wow, they're not all that different than we are. And that's what's so fascinating to me, to watch that fluidity from one culture to the next.